All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a gimbal for action cameras that's actually budget friendly. So stay tuned to the intro. What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, tips and tricks, you've come to the right place. Take the first step, click that subscribe button. All right, today, as the title said, we're gonna be taking a look at a budget-friendly action camera gimbal. Uh, this gimbal I purchased on Amazon. As you know, I do hiking videos and do a lot of work with an action camera. So I've been looking for a gimbal, looking for a good gimbal that will work on what I do. So after some research and looking on Amazon, I found one that was definitely within my price point and that was the Hohim, and you probably won't be able to see it there. It says Hohim here. It is the Hohim uh, iSteady Pro 2 action camera gimbal. So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. So this gimbal comes in this form-fitted case. As you can see there, let the sun help me a little bit. This form-fitted case with a zipper. It's material, but it's a little bit, little bit rigid and uh, offer a little bit of protection for that. One thing that I do like about this uh, case is it allows you to store your gimbal with your camera attached. So that is a plus. All right, a couple more things about this gimbal. What you get with it, you get a little mini tripod. You get uh, a cord to plug and charge the gimbal itself. And you get a couple cords Here's one, here's one, to charge your camera while it is in the gimbal. And we'll go over that in just a minute. So this is gonna be just kind of a brief review, kind of what I think about it so far. I've had it for um, about two weeks now and I've played around with it. And just to give you a little bit of insight as to what I think, I will be using this, as of right now, my plan is to be using this on a hike that I have planned coming up in a couple months. And I will do a follow-up video at that point after that trip to let you know what I really think about it, how it performed, and how well it did. So this is what it looks like. You have uh, controls here. You do not have an LED screen or LCD screen or anything like that. You have a power button, a mode button, a little toggle joystick, and a little tilt button. So you do have a female threaded input here where you could attach an external mic, uh, external light, a mount to hold your smartphone, anything like that. Uh, you do have a charging port here, which is one port to char charge the gimbal and a USB port to where you can charge other things. Now, one thing cool about this gimbal is it works as a power bank. It is a 3200 milliamp uh, battery. So you can charge anything from there once this device is turned on. You have a trigger here. This trigger right here actually serves as a double click. We'll, we'll reset the camera to center. And if you just hold it and turn, it's action mode. So it'll allow the camera to lock and turn as opposed to doing its normal gimbal stuff. You have four modes. Uh, I'm not gonna break down each one of those, but there are four modes that you have. You do have a mount here to where you can mount your little mini tripod or any other attachments here to a selfie stick to get it out further, anything like that. All right, so we will power it on. And what you have here, you also have, you won't be able to see it with the sunlight, but there's four little lights here. And what that does, when you tap the power button, it'll show you a power light indicator. Ah, you can, might be able to see it. Four lights there shows that it's fully charged. And for my camera, you can see it is actually upside down right now. But this gimbal works amazing. This is my first gimbal. So I don't have anything to compare it to. All I can tell you is that it works really well for the price. Now, you might wanna know what the price is. If you haven't already seen the price, the price is $99. So 
this it's going to take some getting used to like i said i'm still learning all the features and all the modes and all the things that it will do but it is super amazing now my Acaso that i have does not have an onboard stabilization however the gopros and the osmos um, all those do this will just give you one more mode of stabilization that you can help stabilize your image and your footage that kind of thing highly recommend this if you are in the market for a gimbal now i did a review of the Acaso ek7000 action camera i'll put a card up top where i did a review of that not too long ago and uh, you can check that out the these pair together really well now as you can see um, there is a gap here now I have two options when I mount my Acaso. One is mount it like it is designed to mount, which is this way. Uh, when I do this, I lose my two buttons here and my microphone if I push it all the way over. But over on this side, I have my SD card and my charging port. If I flip it, then I lose access to these, but I have access to those. Uh, one cool feature about this gimbal is right here behind the camera, there is a port. And you can plug in one of the cords. Two of the cords that come with this gimbal will actually plug into your action camera and the gimbal and it will charge your action camera as you are recording, as you are doing anything. I look forward to playing with this some more and learning more about it, playing with it, figuring it out, but I can already tell you that it's going to be a game changer for my videos and what I can do with the hiking videos, that kind of thing. There is an app. They do have a Hohem gimbal app that you can connect to your gimbal, uh, and what you can actually do with that is you can mount this tripod here and while that tripod is mounted and your camera is stationary you can control the gimbal from the app from your smartphone you can tell it what to do you can adjust the settings how fast it does what it does um, and you can tell it what to do you can set it up to go around for time lapse. There's so many things you can do with this. And for the money, it is a really awesome gimbal. Highly recommend this. For $99, I took a gamble on this gimbal to see how it would work. So far, I am absolutely loving what it does and how well it performs and steadies my action cameras. I will drop links in the description below for this gimbal and make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that thumbs up button and until next time stay bearded get outdoors and god bless